Hello YouTube, this is Armageddon here bringing you Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map Hike Act. And in this episode I'm going to be talking about my opinion on Black Ops 2's multiplayer maps and why you haven't seen more of this kind of stuff from me. So let's start off with the map Hike Act. I don't like it in any way whatsoever. Uh, it just symbolizes everything that's wrong with Black Ops 2 multiplayer. I think that their maps are too small. And especially the linear ones like this, I guess despise them in every way because it's just a there's just way too much opportunity for spawn trapping for you know for just camping it's just not my idea of a fun map never has been never will be um some of the other black ops two multiplayer maps i I quite like, but not this one the, you know i i I guess don't get it what's the big deal. About all the like the this and nuke town, you know all the linear maps. I guess don't like them. Anyway, um, beyond that, um, my opinions on Black Ops Two multiplayer as a whole, it's it's you know it's quite good. I like it. Um, there's a few bad things about it, like for example the shock charges that you've seen me hitting quite a few times in this video. I just think they're they're just a stupid addition to the game. But overall, I like where Black Ops Two has taken. Called multiplayer, um, you know you've got you know it's just mainly the creativity, the you know the amount that you can detail your classes, um, and then it makes you sort of value stuff that you complained about before, like, um, for example, on a lot of my classes, I take off all the grenades and special grenades to just go perks, 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 um, but then you get a ton of situations where you guess where you know where it's like you're about to go into a room and you just think, oh, I wish I had a flashbang. Oh, I wish I had a frag grenade, you know, or you're trying to defend a point on domination and you think, oh, I wish I had a, a claim or a bouncing bed to defend this part. But then you don't think about all the times that you're, like, winning firefights because of a certain perk and stuff like that. It, it's a very good system and I like it. It allows you to choose what you really want um, and all that kind of stuff. So I like I like that a lot. Um, in my opinion on the... Um, this sort of, um, but yeah, that's what I think. Overall, Black Ops Two multiplayer, I think, is done. It, it's a, it's you know, one of the few good and and slightly enjoyable COD multiplayers. But there are a few things that are ruining it for me. And so there's a, so I mean, this is just my opinion, and I'm sure everyone's going to disagree with me. But the first thing that I don't like is the ability to keep stuff over with you when you're prestiging don't like that because if you remember the whole um so for example if you take the example of ghost the perk i'm sure you know what perk it is um when i was playing black ops 2 multiplayer on the first days released i liked it a lot i mean the you know you could call in your av and you knew where everyone was and that's what i think a, a gameplay where you know where everyone is at quite a lot of times, and it's very easy to know where everyone is if you want to. That was very enjoyable because it meant that you know it was it was just enjoyable. But now that everyone's prestiged, and of course they're in lock ghosts because that's what pretty much ninety nine to one hundred percent of anyone who's ever prestiged is kills to ke keep. You know that's what they always go for. Ghost. Um. And that's the thing, after the, you know, the first few weeks where people prestige, that was quite a nice kill there. I guess hope I synced this up right so you could see that. But anyway, so it was a, so back to the whole point, yes. Okay, the ghost and the whole, that whole thing was, I guess, didn't like the idea of it. Um, Not sure if, you know, you agree with it, but I guess I don't like the whole ghost suppressor build up. And, you know, I really didn't like it in previous Call of Duties, um, because it was a lot more easier than this. I, I, I like the way they made it quite a high point, but it's just, no, it's just not enjoyable for me. The whole, the, as soon as you allow people to go stealth, it just turns into a really tense gameplay, and when you're, and I guess I'm like that, you know, I guess like, you know, you can just go in, have a bit of fun, but... You're always on edge when you're in ghost because you're you know you guys have no idea what's going on um second is I still don't think they've got weapon balancing right um I have to say that they've done it quite well 
compared to previous Call of Duties. Um, but there's still one or two overpowered weapons. I know the shotgun, the Remington 870, was overpowered, but then they patched that. Um, and, and, you know, that's a good thing, okay? I like Treyarch's attitude to patching, but the trouble is, for the most part, there's a few weapon classes as a whole that just aren't useful, which are mainly light machine guns and sniper rifles. And I know you see a lot of people using sniper rifles. That's not how they're meant to be used, okay? Sniper rifles are meant to be fired from a long distance, surprisingly, I know some of you are surprised by that, but they're meant to be used from a distance, and not a single map in Black Ops 2 has a distance where a sniper rifle would, you know, would give you an advantage over another type of gun, okay? Um, So yeah, I guess don't like that idea at all. I think they need to have maps tailored to the, gu to the guns, or I guess not have the guns in the game. Now I know there's all the whole montage community that would would really not like it if the um snipers were disposed of but that's just my opinion if you don't have a map that suits a sniper rifle then don't put a sniper rifle in the game also there's the light machine gun class it's you know there's just really a, the, in black ops there is no advantage to a um a, a, a light machine gun over anything else. They're, you know, they're just useless. Um, and yeah, that's just my opinion. Also, another thing that I think they really need to patch is the kill streaks. As you've just seen here, the load star is just a stupid kill streak to get on this map. Same goes for the swarm that you can also see, and also the lightning strike, the hunter killer. There's way too many kill streaks in Black Ops 2. They're a guest instant, you can't do anything about it. And it's just not a good idea. I guess I guess don't like it. Um it's they're very annoying and they're way too powerful in my opinion. you know, kill streaks do not be able to finish you off that quickly. Um but I mean and even and especially stuff like the load star and stuff, okay? This is what my idea, okay? Load stars, dogs and swarms, you know, all the very high end kill streaks that can completely spawn trap and a team, like you just saw, they should not be allowed on the small maps. Now, I know that means that you're pretty much banning them from the game, but when you've got such few small points, and especially on the, this map where there's so many predictable spawn points, you just should not have that um, system, in my opinion. Um. Anyway, that's just my opinion. You know, the load star, all the high end kill streaks, you know, unenable them on the smaller maps with the, you know, the fixed spawn points that they know of. Um, but yeah, anything else? Um, I think that covers it on Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Get remembered lag. Okay, and lag compensation. This whole thing. I just don't like it. And, okay, Call of Duty's had it for a bit. By the way, there was another very nice kill, that classic example of how you deal with the whole um, ladder problem on Hijacked. Anyway, so, yes, basically, it's just that the, the, pro the problem is that Call of Duty is not a game that you can have fun on if you're not doing well, okay? They've made it... In I guess whenever I play it, I get incredibly competitive... So whenever I die, I get annoyed. Now, I'm not sure if this is just me taking the game too seriously or anything like that, you know, but I know for a fact that quite a lot of people who play Call of Duty are like that. You know, when they die, they get annoyed, they rage, all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. It's just one of the things where if you're going to make Call of Duty this sort of close quarters, this competitive, this much gun-on-gun, -gun, unlike other games like Battlefield... And stuff like that. You just need to make, you know, the the lag problems are just, in my opinion, unacceptable, and they definitely take some of the fun out of the game. Uh, but you know, it, it it's better than some past Call of Duties. I mean, I do like the whole fact that, um, these recent Call of Duties are, you know, are have not been hacked and stuff. I mean, I think ever since Black Ops, one you know, um, Treyarch and, and, you know, have been quite good at keeping people hacking. 
I know um, my friend who was playing this match was accusing these French people of hacking, but that's just because they're French. I don't know if you know this, but French are just the world's camping nation, especially in World War Three. They, you know, they just build a massive camping line and then surrendered whenever they, you know, they lost their camping spot. Anyway, that's just getting a bit racist there. Um, might edit that out. Probably won't. Anyway, French camping. Don't like it. What was I talking about? I can't remember. I haven't been feeling well this past couple of days. Three up last night. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, there's another thing that's really annoying me. The strobe um, shock charge. Okay, you know it's just like why? Okay, you've managed to avoid a shock charge. Okay, which is hard enough. I mean, they're annoying enough as it is, but then. It's just a case of, you know, if you dodge the initial shock charge, why are you penalised by getting this massive strobe that hurts the eyes? I don't know, just don't get it. But yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to say. I mean, I know this um, commentary might be seen as a bit whiny, but that's just because I'm in a bad mood and I'm just talking about all the things that Treyarch could do for Black Ops. But, you know, without constructive criticism, that was just a piece of rubbish there. But without constructive criticism, how are they going to improve the game? Okay. So, yeah, so those are all the things I find wrong with Black Ops 2. Some of them aren't that bad. Some of them are quite serious. Um, and hopefully Treyarch can p fix them. The map pack does look promising. The multiplayer maps, you know, look interesting. They look colourful, unlike um, all the maps. And Modern Warfare 3 which was just grey and slightly, but just slightly coloured grey. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, this has been homage and talking about stuff that annoys me in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Also, the things I like. There were some things I like in there. Um... Yep, so, don't trust the French, they always camp. Anything else? Don't think so. Thank you. Goodbye.